So fellas, you guys remember in the last episode, we moved house. <laughs> Look at this. Okay, but as you guys can tell, I've been busy in between episodes, but that isn't the only thing. You might hear a bit of a difference in my audio. Look at this. We're on a server now. Anyways, so as you guys can tell, we've been pretty busy in between episodes, but I have some plans for this episode. So the first thing we're going to need is a whole bunch of iron, iron spikes, redstone, and diamonds. Um, so let's get a whole bunch of iron swords. We need 54 iron swords. There we go, we have more than 54 iron swords. Oh man, that hurts the bank, dude. Okay, we now need some spikes. We're gonna need 12 of these grinders. So we're gonna need 12 times 2, 24 iron spikes. Holy crap, that's a lot of spikes. There we go, that should be enough. That should be enough, holy crap. Okay, spikes. We've got 24 spikes. Now we need to get the mashers. We need 12 of these bad boys. There we go, we did the perfect math. We've got 12 mashers, that's all we need for this video. There we go. Okay, so there's a whole bunch of stone in here. And if I put the stone like this and put the rest in here, there we go, we get 60. I need four, two, four, six, eight fans. Should be enough, there we go. And we're gonna need a whole bunch of upgrades, but for that, there's a whole bunch of things that we're going to need to do and uh, let me show you what we need The first thing we're going to need is some wool. There we go. And we're going to need a um, We're gonna need some red flowers. There we go one of those and then the next thing we're gonna craft is this this is a market but I'm gonna place this market right here. Hello Amanda Hunging kiss. Understood. So in between episodes, I also found a whole bunch of gold. I think there's still <laughs> there's a lot of gold in there. So if I turn this into ingots, there we go. I think we need nuggets for what I'm about to do. No, gold ingots. Holy crap, that's expensive. We're gonna need a whole bunch of these seeds. And I know I'm trading a stack of gold for a stack of seeds. It's not a fair trade, but it isn't a bad trade. And the reason for that is if we go down here, we've got feathers. For that, we need seeds. So let's put all of these seeds in and trade the seeds for some feathers. Yeah, I, I did just trade some gold for some seeds and some seeds for some feathers. Why? Doesn't everybody do that? If you don't do that, hit the like button down below. <laughs> What? Feed my cat. <laughs> okay, so the next thing we're going to need to do is we're gonna need to make some upgrades for our fans. Cause you're probably thinking, we made the fans. What do we need the rest for? What do we need the feathers for? Well, we need these things. There we go, we've got 24. And now we're gonna need these ones. We're gonna need another 24 of those. Can we do it? Can we do it? 24, and then these ones, we're not gonna need as many. We need two per and we've got eight fans. So that's 16. We're gonna need 16 of these bad boys. One, two, three, four. There we go. And then we're going to need some cobblestone and some sticks. Let me see, where did I put my stick? We're gonna need eight of these. I just made 11. I don't know how to count. Don't judge me. There we go. Okay, so that's everything we're going to need for these. We're also going to need some upgrades for the mob mashers. So if I go to masher, there's these sharpness upgrades, which takes iron swords and gold nuggets again. Dude, this is going to cost so much moolah, dude. I think these can take 10 each. So we're going to need 120 of the luck upgrades and of the masher upgrades. This, this is going to cost me a lot of moolah. This better be worth it, dudes. We're going to need to get a whole bunch more swords. So we're going to need four times 120. 480 swords, dudes. Holy crap, we're going to need a lot of swords. Hang on, I'll be back. We've now got pretty much everything we need for this system to work. So let's make it work. I've already turned down the difficulty. I will pay later in food. Um, we'll see what, see why I chose. Okay, back into laggy McVille. Captain Fletchlands, buddy, we really need to fix the lag in this base. Captain Fletchlands, buddy, you're gonna have to wait down here and you're gonna have to tell me if this functions correctly in a minute. I'm gonna actually have to check everything. Okay, it's gonna be, ugh. You guys remember a couple of weeks ago, um, I uploaded another video and it blew up a couple of times this thing. So I had to, I had to slow it down with a whole bunch of torches in between episodes. Basically, it kept on exploding and it wasn't very good and it kept on making a hole in my base. So there's some ways I'm gonna fix that and that's gonna be done in today's episode. Now, am I suffocating in a, what? That doesn't make no sense. Okay, okay, so right here, what we're gonna need to do first, let me just um, put this in my offhand. I'm gonna need to break this block. Now, as you can see, this is three away from all of the centers. So then inside of these fans, we're gonna have two of these upgrades, and I have 
three of these upgrades and three of these upgrades. And if I show area now, as you can see, it covers the entirety of what we need it to cover that entire block. So the mobs spawn on this platform will go into the water at all times. So if I hide the area now, because I don't need to know that, let's just do the same thing in all of the other machines. Okay, there we go. But somewhere I did my math wrong because I left two of these. I don't know, it's odd. It's whatever, dude. So the other thing I'm gonna need to do is replace this and put this down um, because we're not gonna be able to use that later. Um, it's fine, just, yeah. Go along with it. <laughs> Holy crap, this looks absolutely frightening. One, two, three. This will now one-shot me. That will one-shot me. So what I'm doing here is I'm placing down all of the mashers and... Oh, wait, well, there's a pillar here. I don't need to have this anymore. And uh, all of these mashers, what they'll do is they'll just immediately kill any mob, no matter their armor. Their, their armor means nothing to this system. They will die. There we go. So all of these are now fully equipped and ready to fire at anything. So we're gonna put, patch this up because, remember, um, the mobs can actually spawn on that if we don't patch it up. So we're gonna need to patch it up anyways. There we go, I've just removed every single layer from here. So now all of this can spawn mobs in it. And that is gonna be absolutely Brutal. How do I get down? I didn't really think of this, did I? Like right now, you guys can see the items are stuck on the trap doors, but look at this. It's already working. But if I drop this down, there we go. Look at that. These are now dropping all of their items because the water's pushing it all the way down. And it goes right into some hoppers. Isn't that crazy? Okay. What I'm doing now is I'm linking up these cables. These cables are all going to be pulling out items from the hoppers at 16 items a second. So it's way faster than a normal Minecraft hopper because otherwise this would all get the loot would all get stuck on the top and it wouldn't get removed. That's now picking up items from all of its sides. And then over here we're gonna probably put a server rack like kind of around here-ish. I'm actually gonna break here and do this. There we go. And then over here is where we're gonna put all of the item holders in general. There we go. That should be good. Okay, what's this doing then? Does this pick up everything? Okay. Right, I'm gonna turn on the difficulty on the server. So diff Difficulty. Let's set it to normal for now. It, well, it's going to be normal anyways. So normal. And let's see if this works as it, sh it as it's supposed to. As you can see, it's really dark in there. Oh, look at that! Holy, that is quick. Did you guys see that? Items are already falling on the ground in there, and there's XP as well. We're going to have to pick up the XP in between episodes. I'm going to set that machine up with the XP. So we've only left this thing running for a tiny bit, and it's already gaining us loot bags. We already got a legendary and an epic from. The the previous running of the machines so that's pretty that's pretty overpowered okay so let's see what this is doing now so this is giving us all of these oh, holy crap we've already got an android arms okay so we've got an epic loot bag and another legendary we're just waiting on an artifact and a and a, a patient bag and that should be it another epic while we're here though i'm gonna open up an epic and a legendary just to congratulate our efforts so let's do this holy <laughs> multi jump three and fire protection Four. Soulbound three and tombstone soulbound. Insight four, efficiency four, unbreaking five. That is an overpowered shovel. Enchanted scroll of lightning resistance for 10 minutes. And in the epic loot bag, we have two powered rails. <laughs> that is so stupid. It's not even been five minutes and we filled up two rows of this chest. <laughs> we got it. Okay, we got a singular artifact bag. So boom, whitelist, boom, whitelist. So now this should start also filling all of these things. There it is, look at that. Four graves dust, one zombie head, one redstone, 13 rotten flesh, three spider eyes, and 32 gunpowder. These are now all linked up. Oh, I just got a notification, Clash of Clans. Guys, if you guys want me to play Clash of Clans on the on YouTube, just comment it down below. <laughs> leave a like on this video. Don't forget to leave a like and subscribe. Turn on notifications too, because it's really cool. Boom. Okay, so if I type in loot bag here, it should show up with, there it is. We now have seven legendaries, 17 rare, 48 uncommon, 22 epics, and 92 commons.
That's a lot of stuff right there. And in the next episode, guys, stay tuned to the series because we're actually going to be opening up a whole bunch of artifact ones as well, which is going to be epic. We'll, sh we'll open up an artifact one as well. Okay, so let's start off with the weakest epic loot bags. Eight Lapis Lazuli. Okay, you know what? We can upgrade our system with that. I'm not mad. We've got an Unbreaking 3 Mending Shovel. Uh, okay, cool. We've got a better shovel right there, but okay. Okay, that was the two epic ones. Kind of crappy. Not much there, to be honest. Let's open up the legendary ones. Feather Falling 6. Projectile Protection 6. Mending and Unbreaking 5 Diamond Leggings. I just realized that's Mending and Unbreaking, the two enchants that can't normally go back together. But yeah, and we've got a compass on a stone axe. I don't know what the stone axe was for, but sure. Best of Binding. Okay, that was kind of crap. Protection 4 and Unbreaking 5. Um, those two together will actually enchant. Uh, that's going to be really powerful. Enchanted Scroll of True Sight and Iron Shovel with Miner's Fur Fever, Efficiency 4, Insight 4. Okay, and now it's time for the artificial bag. Let's see what's inside. Gunpowder and Cat. Okay, I mean, I'm not going to complain. That was okay. Let's see if we can enchant this. It costs 16 levels. Unbreaking 6, Mending, and Protection 4. Don't mind if I do. And we've got Feather Falling and Projectile Protection on these as well. So that is actually really overpowered. There we go. We now have... Enchanted diamond armor. That's pretty cool. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you have, make sure to leave a like, subscribe, turn on notifications. And um, in between episodes, I'm just going to be doing a lot of work. So other than that, I'll see you all in the next one. Let's go. I actually wanted to try a new intro. I just wanted to say, like, have a good weekend, even though I'm seeing you tomorrow.